So what advice would I give to other entrepreneurs who are considering selling their company? First of all, I think the important thing to remember is that great companies don't get sold, they get bought. And so if you're designing your company from the outset to undergo some sort of transaction uh, quickly, you've probably set yourself up for some level of failure. What you want to do, and probably the reason why you got started in the first place, is to build something great, build something new, and build something impactful. And that is your job, is to continue to do that, and continue to understand your market, and continue to do the best things you can for your product and for your company. When it comes to the point of uh, going through a transaction, the best thing that you can hope for is that people are interested in what you've built either because you're competitive to them or because you're going to be augmentative and complementary to what they already have. So when you do set off to build your company, of course, again, the goal would be to be a standalone company in the end, but it doesn't hurt to think about what some of those other outcomes could be. So who are you going to be competitive with? Uh, who are you going to be complementary to? And does your product interact with some of the major power players out there that are considering uh, and undergoing lots of purchases? So when you create your company, uh, give some thought to the alternative not being the one where you take off and you go IPO, et cetera. What we wound up finding in our company, Wise.io, is that by following that philosophy of building the company in the way that we wanted to, but maintaining connectivity to a number of the rapidly growing companies out there that were going to be acquisitive, we gave ourselves a large number of alternatives. And that actually wound up panning out for us in the end. The company that ultimately acquired us was not one of the few that we had in mind, but because we had created some level of generalizability of the technology that we had created and we had some great people that had been working for us, we wound up finding that there were a number of companies interested in us that we really hadn't even had on our radar screen when we set off to build the company.